I want to take some time to talk about energy and having energy for things in your life. I really like to think that we all get a finite amount of energy, not just in our lives or like the theory of one of those relative, I don't really know the correct scientific terminology, but the theory that energy is neither created or destroyed, it's just equally distributed, that. What I'm trying to say is that in our lives, we all get a certain amount of energy that we can put towards certain things. Whether that be you want to put energy towards work or you want to put energy towards your relationship or you want to put energy into a hobby. There's a finite amount of energy. I just got back from church. One of the things that stood out to me today was the speaker said something about the sacrifice is great, but the joy of the reward, the joy of the completed thing, the joy of after the sacrifice makes the sacrifice worth it. I think one of the things that I really want to do as I continue to document my life is to acknowledge the sacrifice. I think when you give something a name, you call it by its name, it, it gives it more purpose. Lately, I've also been saying out loud, I don't have the energy for that. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's not that it's not important to me. It's that in this moment, at the time, I do not have energy to put towards that. And that's because I'm protecting that energy for something else, whether that be my relationship with my wife, um, financially where I'm trying to save money by not eating out so I need to save energy so I can actually cook whether that be saving energy because I want to document my life and make these videos being aware of the finiteness of the energy and conserving it and moving it into different areas when I need to is really important to me that's something that I want to pass along to someone else if they are in need of this pep talk is that I fully understand if you want to keep doing things, but sometimes you have to say no or not right now because you literally don't have the energy for it. There are things, emails, text messages, uh, actual physical pieces of mail that I have not touched because I just don't have the energy to do it. So, just a thought.